baldness will be cured by AI. And it won't be by shampoo, it will be by supercomputers and quantum physics. Let me explain in 30 seconds. So hair loss isn't just genetic, it's a molecular problem. Certain proteins in your scalp overreact to hormones like DHT. Because of this, your hair follicles shrink and die. To cure balding permanently, we need a treatment that targets those proteins specifically. But here's the problem, we didn't even know what these proteins looked like. But then, companies like DeepMind's AlphaFold came along. This is an AI that can predict the exact 3D shape of any protein in your body in seconds. Like a Pokedex for just millions of molecules in your body. That now means that we can see the enemy clearly. And design a medicine that fits perfectly into the hair loss pathway, like a key fitting into a lock. So, all of this is great, but AI is still just guessing right now, like we do as humans when it comes to science. That is likely until quantum computing kicks in. Once we're able to use AI with quantum computers, we'll be able to simulate millions of hair loss treatments at once. Testing them in a computer before ever even trialing it in humans. Imagine it kind of like the multiverse in Marvel films, tons of different realities, but instead of Thanos clicking his fingers, quantum computers will eventually be able to just skip decades of research and guesswork, simulating the reality of every possible treatment. AI will guess the cure and quantum will prove it. So yeah, hair cloning, gene editing, full follicle regeneration, it's probably coming. But here's the catch. If you just let yourself go full Norwood 7 while you're waiting for AI, that's like refusing to brush your teeth because one day robots are gonna invent new ones. So please don't just wait for the treatment guys, start researching actual proven treatments like the stuff I talk about on my page so that you're at least putting yourself in the best position to keep the hair that you've got when it does happen. Follow for more hair loss news.